and welcome to MR and Mag TV's In the Know. I'm your host, Monica. Today is Thursday, December the 1st, and we're here at the Reginald Lewis Museum in downtown Baltimore, and Michael Bazin is in town. He's here to ask the question, do women know what they want? But we'll soon find out when we talk to him, hopefully, about some of the great things that he's been doing. He has the million um, dollar pitch challenge that he's uh, given out to people. He's had this philanthropic effort that he wants entrepreneurs to get out there and do what they, they do best, and he's following politics and, and also wanting to help the children. And we also have his sidekick, the man beside him, Mr. George Wilborn, who has his comedy DVD that's coming out as well. So let's get to it and see what we can find out right here at the Reginald Lewis Museum. Thank you. Sweet. Uh, please give him a hand. This theater is incredible, man. Give him a hand for allowing us to come out here to the Reginald F. Lewis Theater. And of course, you got to give Magic a hand for bringing me on here in Baltimore. I wouldn't even be on the air. So man, love the magic. Is that a mirror or is it people actually over? This is wild. What's up, people who got here late? What's up? What's up? Hey, boy. What's up, lady? Look good. Can't see you behind the glass. What's up? Wow! This is cool. What's up? What's up, dog? How you doing? Owe me five dollars. Give me my five, dog. How you doing, sir? How you doing? What's up, ladies? How you doing? Thank you all for coming out. This is real interesting. How this is set up, huh? Beautiful building, right? Give my hand for putting this together. This is it's pretty great. Hey. Oh, uh, you want me to stand still for that? Get an iPhone. Man, let me tell you, I have been doing this for 18 years. I came here to Baltimore back in 1995. I'm getting old, man. I'm almost 50 years old. Yeah, man. Them, them years pass by quick, don't they? You know, I really think that as you get older, time really does pass faster. I believe that. So I don't have time as a man that's almost 50 to be sugarcoating anything. I've never done that in my, in my career over the last 18 years. I'm not here to do it tonight. The film is not about that tonight. So we'll talk a little bit after the film. Any questions about the books? Of course, the new book, Never Satisfied, Do Men Know What They Want? I had to write that because of women. Every time I said, do women know what they want, what did women say? What about the men? So I wrote the book and talk about what the men's part of it was. Those of y'all who've read Maintenance Man and Men Cry in the Dark and God's Gift to Women, you know, we're trying to get those movies made. We're hoping that's going to happen real soon. That was actually the dream that started me on this path. I never wanted to be a radio personality. I never wanted to be an author, really. I just wanted to write scripts for movies. And the books came out of that. And the radio show came out of me traveling around the country promoting my books. So this is something I never thought about until many years later. So I hope you guys enjoying what I'm trying to do on radio. Because trust me, I've been fighting to talk about these topics. You know they don't want me doing this, don't you? I'm not saying Magic doesn't want me to do it, but they don't want you all to have this kind of information. They want me to tell jokes, slap it up a little bit, shut up, and play the music. And if I did that, Gina Six never would have happened. If I did that, the president would have had a harder time getting elected. If I did that, I wouldn't have traveled around the country for one million mentors, and I'm donating half a million dollars of my own money to help you all live your dream and help your businesses. Oh, you all are really going to enjoy this movie. I know you all been hearing me talk about it for a while. Um, I didn't bring you all out here to see a bad movie. I don't do bad radio, I don't write bad books. I did not bring you out here to see a bad movie. This movie is very, very, very good because the people in it did a really great job. When you do a documentary, you rely on the people to be interesting in order for it to, uh, to be successful. Yes, I'm good. Yeah. What's your question? We'll get out of here. My question is, um, you have whole voice right now. Yes. You made that voice. When did you become confident? My whole life. I was always that guy. I was the guy throwing the basement party. You got bass with the ball pool? Uh -huh. yeah. Good. Yeah. Chicago, we threw a basement party. I threw red parties, girl. <laughs> Two young men. So we're finishing up here at the Reginald Lewis Museum, and Mr. Michael Basin was off the hook. Yes, he asked the question, do women know what they want? And surely there are some women out there who clearly know what they want. What about you ladies? Hopefully you enjoyed this footage. Check it out. He has it on DVD. He's on tour all over this country. So if you don't see him or hear about him somewhere, you can find out about him here. MRM Mag TV's In The Know. Thanks. I'm your host, Monica, and we'll see you guys again soon. Smooches.